easily take out. Uh, that's going to be pretty much the the lead star there for Root in determining whether or not those team fights go well for them yeah. or not. He's already getting aggressive on DC. Now DC is to be hit, slowed down. The orb's going to come in, and TC trying to dodge it, but the right clicks are still going to come in and finishes him off. First blood going the way of black. Yeah. Well, the sentry in the end didn't reach to blink himself away at least, but they tried to go for that smoke pickoff on the Animage and are very unsuccessful. Moo now without the BKB, left very susceptible to Black and his coil. They should be able to get this kill. They throw out the Shallow Grave, but they're just kiting around Moo, trading off the damage bit by bit, making sure no one dies to him. And sure enough, they get that pickoff. Fun now on the run, but Black going to try and catch up. Fisher does hit by Lai Dai. Moo, oh, fun, oh nice. wow. what a hit. Yeah. The one Shallow Wave onto that, Shadow Wave rather, onto that creep manages to help them get the kill. Bulba trying to catch up. Ooh, too fun. He has the track on him. The extra movement speed allows him to catch up. The nice double stun. They get Fluff as well here. Fluff throws out the up. They managed to get by Light Eye as well as Bulba. Wow, that's what is actually going on right now? A, that's actually a decent turnaround there. But all the meanwhile, man. Koi Fluff that he has around him. Oh, he's got no mana. If he had a basher right now, he could maybe have pursued him till, till his death. Maybe he still can. Actually, Lion yeah. is here. Lion Lion's is coming in. And the weave goes off. Oh, this is less finger. likely for them to want to go in. Mana Void Finger, not quite enough damage. The Shallow Grave goes off. Fun going to be the target instead. Sacrifices himself to save his ally. Koifa, are they going to go for this stun? He up? got the Mana Void instead of Link, so he can't Oh, no. Away. Fluff. Now the Puck is going to come in. The Fisher laid out. Puck's waiting it out. Black now going to jump in. Two-man coil. Orb goes out. Fluff in some serious trouble. Turns around. Mana Void doesn't do much against Black, though. No. He still had plenty of mana left. Yeah, that's more like, please don't kill me. TC has been tracked up. Ooh, that hook shot ends up missing. Jump in. Yule Scepter to dodge the silence. Nicely played by TC. Excellent read. Monkeys Forever gets the stun. Follow up. Laguna Blade to wipe him out. Way Very too. Nice. Drew quite low here, but he's got the Blink Dagger away. TC, still another 10 seconds up for his Yule Scepter, but if they can oh, catch up to Bulba. This. Yeah, they're pursuing. They want to. They don't have Blink, as you said, on Lina here. Oh, the Fisher actually will stop up way too. Completely blocking him out. The missile will make sure he ends up dying. One turns to two as yeah. Root managed to find a couple yes. of pickoffs there still. The Fisher on the missile. Saving for staff and the Fisher will lock Koifa in. They may actually make the jump here. Coil on three. They still controlling Koifa as moves right in the middle, doing out those flat cannon shots, especially with the weave on top. Bulma makes a wrong jump in. Cogs, everyone back. They get the Yule Scepter onto the line. Looks like that's going to be the first pickoff of this fight. Way to out and the rest of mouse sports realizing that their failed initiation they're really good response from root they were ready this last 10 minutes they've been ready for an initiation like that knowing they needed to save heroes black does manage to get away pilot dike oh, help needs this up but yeah any mage going in deep here and going up against move the shallow grave comes into time saves move can he actually get away from these illusions he is just good koifa gonna be hit by the enchant totem echo slam hold them to man and the right click no 68 hp the oh. fisher comes out though they manage to get the kill pile i die trying to go for fun you will set their up tc four staff away but dear god he Jesus. died from like full hp you, 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 he literally was full hp who needs a landline striker right save well, the gyrocopter like, right yeah, ghost scepter could be good for yourself so going into e-blade since you're so rich is yep. a decent choice i was thinking that as well he might go for something different if he wants to but i think that's a good choice oh, oh, wow fluff actually blinking very aggressively for way two turns around finger death with the fisher stuns up to the call down on top they're gonna catch by light die and way two as well the rubik may die here in fact he does oh no they actually do a boots of travel into bulba and he cleans up an extra support now moo is left without any backup they get the fisher but no it doesn't matter the bkb activated in time monkeys forever now trying to get out of this situation but Cogs he could sell his Battle Fury very soon on that oh, Finch okay. as well, by the way. Because he has 8k gold, he will have even more if he sells the Battle Fury. And go for something else. I honestly think he can have a Lincoln's on the Curry as well, and micro that, if he's down for some uh, StarCraft 2. Root. They, the Roshan may go down, but they're in a bad position if this fight actually occurs around the Roshan pit. But they couldn't get there in time. Monkey's now going to be hit by the hook shot And four staffed away. Once again, the four staff plays coming in. Lincoln's managed to dodge the Laguna Blade out. And TC actually refreshes now to continue the fight. Fun is caught on the side here. He will immediately go down. Fluff unable to save his fellow supports and now has to get out himself. In fact, he doesn't have oh, anything. The what a hook shot into the cog pushback! Root have never been caught completely. The anti-cogs being 
trying to push back Koifa <laughs> as best as possible. Moon now activates the BKB, but he's all alone. He's got no support behind him. The call down goes out. He activated the Satanic. He's still being kept alive, just barely. They need some help now. Excellent. Fisher comes in. Echo Slam takes out the Animage. Bulba goes down as well. That Aegis, not going to do much for him, though. Yeah, Unless he gets some amazing so. hookshot play. Well, they're trying. They're going back at that top lane and just stall up Root as much as possible. Bobo looking for another hook shot. Yeah. Fluff. Yeah, he's going to be caught in the track. Just sets him up too easily. Fluff should end up going down. Double force downs. Gets him over the side. Oh, shallow grave. Can he blink out of this one in time? Fluff, one second, gets to the side. Now the Fisher goes laid out and they take out the line real quick. Yeah, line is down, but they keep pursuing yes. here a little They're bit. They're going in. Oh, what a cogs. And the cogs push back as well with the coil. It's going to be able to snap on Monkey's forever, but they just don't have the damage. Antimates because Ikoifa is just so focused on objectives right now. They don't have very much damage without him. They're going to lose the fight, but they're going to get some Raxes in exchange. Melee Rax, I think, just went down. No, nope, actually stayed alive. Just oh, barely. God. It's not really, you know, we'll get this for sure. Yeah. Just go for the range track first in this kind of scenarios. Full, yeah, the full five up from Maus. You know they're going to respond with something here. Oh, Koifa is trying to push hurts. out the bottom lane as best as possible. Yeah, he's trying. He's trying, but they're not really defending the range tracks. There's no Don't way. It's not a massive loss, though, going down for the range. It's just a little bit of an advantage, of course, for Radiance Way. Posting a lot here. Trying oh, to jump in. Echo Slam. They're going to try and lock down Black. A four staff gets in the side. And Bulba with the interception locks oh three in the cogs. What a setup from Bulba. But they still manage to take out the puck. The buyback is immediately there. Koipa jumps in. Takes out the Dazzle. TC abyssaled up with the counter abyssal over to Koipa. Actually stunned him up. Can he actually get TC in time? Telekinesis. Finger of death takes out the leanup. But oh, still, the anime is, is down for two minutes without a buyback. And Moo is still looking strong. Yeah, Moo doesn't care about anything here. He still has back on his own as well, I believe. So he can just keep going. If they want to pressure more, they can feel free. Of course, they did lose the Lina. Might want to just reset here. Lotus Orb is, is kind of like ultimately the anti-chain, yeah. right? You th they start with the first disable. You put it on him. And what are they going to do? Disable themselves Lincoln's by keeping the gyro added. locked? Yeah, Link has a Lotus Orb. The smoke. This could be big. Way too. Immediately MKB'd up, but he gets the Hex on the move. They manage to stun him up even further. Cogs push back. Moo does get the Lotus Orb. And they take out the Dazzle. No Shallow Grave here, but Way too is also out. One for one so far. Oh, Black actually hit by the Light Trigger. And he'll be taken up. Oh, no Scepter. Dodges the Laguna Blade. Can he actually get out? Face shift. Draw some time. Bulba also coming in. They take out TC. Koifa going for more. Looking for move. Activate the BKB Satanic, but not Will Live. Koifa now looking for more. Monkeys Forever on the way out with a track trying to TP. Luda are going to be coming in. The call down. The lead things off. Ooh, Fisher on three. This is setting things up quite well. Monkeys Forever juking and jiving. Gets the Abyssal Blade stun. Koifa trying to go for him, but the Glimmer Cape actually keeps him alive. Moo actually gets a four staff over the cliff, but Koifa pursues with a Blink Dagger trying to lock him down. But Moo turns and fights with the Telekinesis being locked down on Koifa. The Laguna Blade goes out and he goes down. 90 seconds, but he has a buyback. Is he going to blow it to try and help contest this fight? Doesn't look like it. Light Strike Array. Activated BKB TC might just pick up two here while Pyla die running around with fluff. Looks like Bulba. They are going to go for it. The buyback on Koifa as he comes in to fight up against TC. Beautiful shallow grave. They'll keep him alive. They will have enough time to take on Bulba. Koifa now locked in. He's got to get There's out of no here. But the slam locks him down. If he goes down, he'll break away ahead of the Fisher. Gets stunned up by the poison and Koifa oh. goes down. Dead for two minutes. Bulba down for 90 seconds. And this looks like the end of Mal Sports. Yeah, this looks like Root this time. They're so fierce going into this late game and this time they have the tools to deal with it as well last game of course fighting fighting with shovels or whatever mm -hmm. this game they actually have a farm gyrocopter and really good lena as well to hard counter the, the am and there's just not anything you can do they're trying to like split push racks but i mean it's, that's a dream that's a prayer right there black that somehow he can they're do already anything. talking about something else than yeah. this game um so yeah Game is uh, taken after 70. Oh, and uh, our Divine Rapier for yeah. the American Division. Oh, that's 53 viewers being happy about that Divine Rapier pickup. Yeah. And some Compendium predictions maybe on point now. And there it is. The throne finally goes down. 72 minute game, 75 minute game, and then a 73 minute game. I don't know what it is, dude. These guys just want to play. Oh, we have two games to play? Yeah, I reckon that will be like three and a half hours. We'll mm -hmm. we'll see you guys soon. That that was an incredibly, I think that's the most tense series that we've seen For here sure. in the qualifiers. For sure. This was the best series that I've seen in the qualifiers so far. And this makes this like, whole entire group.